Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Adobe Live. It is 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, but if you're coming from anywhere else, I'm sure it's a great afternoon or evening. I'm your host, Chris Blackstock, and we are here with Maria Trique. Um Hi, hi Maria. Um, hi. So really excited today. Uh, we're going to be doing some drawing and painting with characters, and she'll explain that in a second. Um, if you guys are on YouTube, hop on over to b.net slash Adobe Live. Come join us there. That's where we're moderating the chat and you can ask Maria your questions and hopefully she can answer them to the best of her ability. Uh, we got Wade Akuf. He's moderating today. Hi, Wade. How's it going? I'm sure I see some familiar face. Gus Martin, General Kenobi. How's it going? Uh, super excited for you guys to be joining with us. Um, also, um, forgot to tell you guys, Check out the first week of a new Photoshop daily creative challenge with Paul Tranny. It's every weekday at 9 a.m. Pacific. Uh, don't miss out on the new set of challenges. You guys can learn a lot. It's a lot of fun to just kind of keep those creative juices flowing. Um, and yeah, so Maria, please uh, tell us where you're from and kind of show us some of your work and just let us know what we're going to be doing today. Yay. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm really excited to be here with all of you. This is my first Yeah, lesson. we're excited to have you. Yeah. yeah, thank you. So my name is Maria. I'm a freelance illustrator and art director from Spain. And after living a few years in Barcelona, um, I'm currently based in Figueres. Figueres is a city in the north of Catalonia, near the sea, near the mountains. Very, very, it's, it's nice. very pretty. Yeah. And I live here with my partner and my three cats. And maybe <laughs> you will see one of them during the live stream, but it's okay, they are very cute. Um, about my work, I'm a specialized in children illustrator, illustration, sorry, character design and pattern design. And here, if you want to see my work here, um, you can find me on Instagram here where you will find and it's just about... your name right it's just maria trica yeah maria the... Trique. Uh, okay yeah so that's right yeah, we'll, we can put those links up too as well yeah so people can maria find Trique. You. Okay. okay so here in my instagram you will find my daily processes sketches um my work and daily stuff and um, my inktober <laughs> And a lot of They're things, cool. yeah. And you can find me also in Behance and in my website. This is it, mariatrikel.com. And I would like to show you some projects that I have. Yeah. This one, for example, is the Pot Petit project. I did the art direction, design, and illustrations for a pop-up CC. C no, Papa City Book, yes, from for mm -hmm. Pot Petit. Pot Petit is a children musical group from Catalonia, very popular, who runs around Catalonia, performance for families. And I did cool. the illustrations, the cover, these figures to play inside the book. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, a lot of fun here. Uh, it's beautiful. Yeah, pop-up books are so much fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's complicated, but at the end, it's all oh, great. Did you design all the the pop-up mechanics as well? Um, no, I worked like... with, a, with a technical. But okay. I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I proposed that the, yeah, I want three layers, the first one, the second and the third. But yeah, a lot of fun here. Oh, that's cool. Um maybe another one this is one of my last projects i did the illustrations for a board game oh, nice. and i'm called el juego de la oca very popular here in spain so i did all the characters illustration um with diversity of ethnicities ages mm -hmm. the objects a lot of work here <laughs> also and um, maybe I can share the last one. Yeah. This one, as you may recognize, is 36 days of type challenge on Instagram. And mm -hmm. here I mix um, some animals 
with letters in a cute and playfulness and warm side. And yeah. These make me happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These are wonderful yeah. to look at. Yeah, it's cute. Um, as you can see, my my work is is full of vivid and bright and contrasting colors. It's like my thing. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, a lot of character design patterns and yeah, it's all. It's yeah, it's all. Um, yeah. It's, it's a quick summary about my work and. Obviously, if you want to ask me something about my work or about the process that I will do, so feel free. Definitely. And can you just, I mean, your work is amazing. And guys, again, uh, go to Maria Triquel, uh, T R I Q U E L L dot com um, to check out her work. And yeah, can you just take us uh, through what you want to do today in the next two days of uh, yeah. Adobe Live for us? So today I'm going to show you my my work process when I have to do a character design, a family of character design. So today um, I'm going to start with the sketches and then we can follow with the color palette or maybe color sketches and tomorrow we will do the final illustrations. And I'm going to do this character design and these characters with a theme mm -hmm. will be the vegetable characters, vegetable garden in autumn. Mm -hmm. So okay. we will yes. do some funny vegetables here. Okay, that sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and will you so, be using uh, Photoshop or Fresco or what are we using today? Photoshop. Photoshop, okay, perfect. Yeah, Photoshop. Okay. So awesome. let us start. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, um, uh, Laura Steneva says these illustrations are adorable. I have oh, to agree. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely make thank me you. all warm inside. Um, yeah, everybody. Uh, Robert Winterberg loves the uh, letters. That's a oh. good one. Oh, and uh, Uma Corn uh, Brewers uh, says uh, she loves your accent. Ah, thank you. I'm from <laughs> Spain. I have accent. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, I, I usually try to, to transmit uh, love and cute and touch of humor in all of my yeah. illustrations. Because yeah. um, if for me, make me happy, for all of them, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, it's fun. It's no, it's nice. It's nice bringing yeah. joy to other people, especially through yeah. your art. So, yeah. oh, thank you. It's a nice, it's a nice thing. So, come on, let's just start. Um, usually, when I when I have to start some project like this, I always do the a list for 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 half the the whole project in my mind. So right. the first right. thing that I always do is um, do a list for the main characters that maybe I can draw. For example, mm -hmm. um, autumn characters, vegetable characters, a pumpkin, yes. mushrooms, radish, red pepper, eggplant, maybe leek or cauliflower or broccoli, something. Mm -hmm. And then I want to, I'm going to put some accessories like glasses, scarves, air muffs, or hats, or boots. It's always mm -hmm. a good touch for the characters. Right, right. Um, and then I'm going to draw um, some small elements, like leaves, or acorns, or berries, or stars, to complete the whole composition. Because at right. the end, with these characters, I want to do uh, final composition to okay. make a pattern and to apply to a mock-up right. you know so it kind of gives you options having those other little elements as you design and then when yeah. you can put it together it kind of yeah no that's great yeah you're yeah, very yeah. organized <laughs> I have, I have everybody to... is <laughs> yeah, yeah it's but it, it's good for me um yeah. do this list at, at the beginning because for me mm -hmm. it's like hmm, i have to do this da, 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 da. 
yeah, um, it's nice to have the reference as you work. Yeah. So if you get stuck or anything, you, you can just reference it and look at it right away. Yeah, but maybe during the process, I can change my mind. Mm -hmm. And obviously, mm, no, I don't want to draw a eggplant. I don't want to draw an artichoke. I don't know. Right. You know? So let's just start with the, um, with the sketches, maybe pumpkin with some mushrooms. So let's go. Mm -mm -mm. I use a... Uh, a brush from Kyle T. Webster. I love these brushes. Okay, Kyle brush, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, mm -mm, a pumpkin. Let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna butcher the Spanish, but I'm gonna say it from the the, the chat. Uh, Andres Pires says, "Adoro su trabajo." Is that right? Yeah, I love your work. Okay. Adoro okay. su trabajo. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I need to say that Andres. Me, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I'm going to. I'm going to try some now noses and eyes and and mouth. Now, have you done anything ahead of time, or are you pretty much in your exploration process right now? Like, did you do any drawing ahead of the stream, or is it all just kind of doing it right now? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I start with this. Um, Perfect. Because when I have to start some project like this, I at the beginning I try some faces like hmm, I want to draw the eyes like this or like this mm -hmm. so, or the, the nose and this or I can draw a lot of types of notes with uh, geometrical forms. Hmm. But I think that with this project I I choose these ones, the point, points for the eyes and around, around noses, always with the cute cheeks. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah, let's do this one, maybe. And when I draw this family, I always mm -hmm. try to to draw different forms of vegetables. The pumpkin is is a circle, right? Right, right. So, um, for example, we can do a leak here. Right. To to. To have some options for the composition right you want that variation and shape so you yeah. have these different all these different types of shapes that'll look really nice together that aren't repeating yeah. themselves yeah because for for a final pattern it's more interesting have different mm -hmm. kind of shapes right. to to prepare the final one mm -hmm. or maybe here we can draw the face here because I can put a scarf maybe. And how, how long have you been a professional, Maria? Mm, I'm on, I'm a freelance illustrator from um, 2018. Okay. Yeah, but before I I work in some agencies, advertising agencies and studios mostly. Mm -hmm. 
as right. a graphic designer, as an illustrator, an illustrator. Mm -hmm. But yeah, my freelance adventure starts there. <laughs> yeah, no, it's exciting. I mean, it's it's a whole different world, but it's yeah. you, you obviously have a lot of experience before that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good thing. Um, start with a with a big background. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe um, a radish. I'm going to do a cute small radish with with big leaves. to add some yeah. movement here oh yeah that's that's nice maybe here we can put a head yeah could you imagine that you'd be getting paid to uh draw vegetables with scarves <laughs> <laughs> yeah imagine. Not, not bad huh <laughs> no, no. Uh, Tiffany uh, McConnell says, Maria, have you used Adobe Fresco? Um, not yet. Not yet. I have to try. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's. I'm a Photoshop heavy illustrator as well in my digital <laughs> side. So um, I haven't done much with Fresco either, but I have a few friends, especially that are doing more graphic illustrative work that really love it. Um, mm. Kind of for the it's speed of getting those textures. I think with your work, um, it would actually, Fresco would work really well for you. Um, mm. Yeah, you should definitely check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no time. <laughs> oh, what are you talking about? You're yeah. <laughs> I have no time. I have a lot of work and I'm always, yeah, I have to read. I have to learn something. I have to improve yeah, my I English. Know. I yeah. have to do yeah, a lot of right. things, but I don't have time. Just don't sleep. Just don't sleep. Yeah, easy, right? Yeah, that's the, Maybe that's the when, when I won the lottery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pay somebody to learn it for you and then... Ah, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah so... It's cute, right? <laughs> oh, fuck. I merge some layers. Ah, it's okay. Yeah, how how um how clean are you with your layers or how organized are you? <laughs> is it something that doesn't really bug you and you kind of just do it later? Or is it something um, that you just kind of do it as you go and combine them and merge them? Yeah, I'm Actually, I, I'm not that kind of illustrator that put a name in each layer. No. Right. But I try to keep organized because if later I have to retouch something, yeah. um, it's more easy. Right. So yeah, I have if I have to do this character, for example, the radish one, um, I can group all the layers in a general group the name for example radish and inside the group i i separate the layers with for example head leaves face right. this kind of thing yeah but yeah it's important to keep the file clean if you mostly if you work with some someone else for example right, if you right. have to work with animator of course you have mm -hmm. to 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 keep clean your your file Mm -hmm. but yeah sometimes it seems a waste of time to put names Completely. in each layer in each layer it's like right boring. it's almost distracting yeah 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 yeah, yeah. it's it's a boring process of, completely hmm. they should have some kind of like artificial intelligence that just can figure out what you're drawing label your layer for you yeah connect our mind with the program <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, let's get let's get going on. Yeah, this. yeah. I don't want to label my layers. 
Yeah, of the layer. If the layer could recognize the the, the draw, yeah, this is a potato. This is a radish. Yeah, we okay. We've got to push for this. Oh. Oh, let's, let's go, oh. Adobe. <laughs> <laughs> let's go with this new technology. Yes. Um, I I can follow with red pepper, maybe. Oh, a plan. Uh, Fairy Utomo says, uh, do you ever uh, wonder yourself to become childish again? Uh, basically, like, do you kind of tap in to kind of like your childhood imagination as you do this? Or is it something that you've kind of just kept with you? But it's not hard that that hard to tap into. It's just. Mm, I, I don't know. It's, it's like in. In some projects, it's, it's like, yeah, it's, it's come from my mind, but in different projects, I, I have to search some inspiration and references mm -hmm. and this kind of thing. For this one, obviously, yeah, I know how is uh, a radish or a pepper. It's easy. Right. But, but if I, I don't know, if I have to do a horse, Riding a bicycle in a different background. Right. Yeah. I will have yeah, to search. Need, need reference. some reference. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you said this brush was just a, a Kyle Webster. Is it a, a, a pastel brush, a sketching brush? What, um, what's the texture? No, it's, it? the, um, it's, the it's from drawing, drawing Box Happy HB. Perfect. Yeah, it's a happy brush. <laughs> yeah. No, it's great. I usually, for a long time, I used a, a, a hard round brush for everything mm. that I did in Photoshop and then kind of realized it was really nice to kind of replicate like how I would draw my sketchbook. And so kind of finding yeah. those, those textures and materials again, kind of, I got to kind of pretend that I was still doing traditional art. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's the like Cintiq helps with that as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's why uh, I'm drawing with red because in my sketchbook, mm -hmm. always I'm drawing with a red pencil. Is that your, yeah, yeah. red pencil? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My Prisma color um yeah um it's like a i don't know it's, it's it seems comfortable with me for me mm -hmm. trying yeah. with the red well i think you know if you've done traditional or if that's something that you've done for a long time it's important mm -hmm. to kind of connect that to your yeah. digital work um it's it's interesting when i meet people that have just you know everything's been digital from the beginning. Mm. Um, it's it's like a totally different experience with making art. I mean, the, the results can be very similar, but there's something yeah. really nice just getting on a piece of paper and a pencil. And, yeah, yeah, I always try really to- Really basic and easy, you yeah. know? It's just like a natural, yeah. direct connection. Yeah, take your notebook, take a, I don't know, a marker, a pencil and draw something. It's yeah. super easy. Yeah. Yeah, I try to to draw um, in my sketchbook um, daily, but it's impossible, of course. The yeah. Whole yeah. Yeah, but I get away with it. I, uh, I make my my two kids do it for me. So <laughs> <laughs> like, you draw, I'll tell you what to do. Just you guys sketch this out for me. Yeah, you guys, I you guys need to practice. One. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just turned five, buddy. You got a ways to go. We got to get that <laughs> pencil mileage. Okay, so we've got a big circular pumpkin. We've got this big kind of oval yeah. rectangle. Is that a pepper? Pepper. Um, got a nice tall, leek. long leek. And then yeah. I kind of like this radish because it's kind of, we've got a, a few shapes in there and it kind of adds that movement. Um, yeah. That yeah, is really, maybe, that'll be a nice. Maybe we can, we can add some movement here in this leek. With um, 
the leaves. Um, maybe maybe something like this for the wind mm -hmm. right because it's this is fall autumn right yeah and blowing leaves and getting starting to get a little bit colder yeah not in la it's no <laughs> los angeles los angeles uh, well, I think uh, next week it's going to be in the high 80s, low 90s. <laughs> so, well, yeah. sorry, Fahrenheit. So uh, I'm trying yeah. to think of the Celsius. Yeah, it'll be pretty warm. So yeah. Sometimes yeah, you get it's the... It's completely different because here, here is autumn and here in Figueres, there are a lot of wind called Tramuntana. Tramuntana mm -hmm. is a very strong wind from the north. Right. And these days we had a very, very strong wind. And maybe today well, it's a warm day, but this weekend um, maybe it was, I don't know, nine degrees. It was Ooh. cold. Yeah, that's pretty cold. And yeah, here. And actually, I'm from the Catalan Pyrenees mm -hmm. in the north, in the north. Between, so it's a lot. Yeah, it's a, a lot. A lot Cold. <laughs> yeah. Very cold. Um, yeah. Winter, winter mm -hmm. with yeah, with snow in winter and a lot of cold there. Yeah, my uh, my brother lives in Alaska. Whoa! Um, yeah, so, <laughs> so you know, <laughs> it's pretty cold. I still haven't been there. He's only, he's only lived there for a couple of years, so I'm still trying to get out there. But um, but the rest of my family has, and I know I think it. You know, during the summertime, hmm. it's pretty. It's pretty chilly most of the time. It doesn't really get very warm very often. So, yeah. But uh, Alaska, what we go? Yeah, um, he gets to he gets to ride canoes towards glaciers and hang out oh, with giant grizzly beautiful. bears and yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I imagine. Hmm. I want to travel again. I want to try again before, after we'll the, this, yeah, with, with all this pandemic stuff, it's hard. Yeah, is, um, I don't know, where, where you are, what is the, I mean, what's it like as far as restrictions or anything? Mm, now, mostly nothing, but we have okay. to, we have to wear the mask in right. the public spaces. Mm -hmm. um, yeah now we can we can do almost almost yeah almost all the things but this last year was was tough it was tough yeah it was because yeah, we had a lot of restrictions um we we can't uh, go outside our city outside our house very tough yeah yeah that's not fun yeah yeah, I'm hoping th things have kind of improved over here as well. And I feel yeah. like I don't, I don't have the same anxiety that I had yeah. <laughs> last year. Especially I got the, the two little kids too. It's like you can't tell them not to lick something <laughs> or not to grab. <laughs> not touch, not lick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my, my, uh, I almost have a, he's almost two. And the moment you say no, he says yes. And that's all he wants to do. So yeah, it's, it's like, you be like don't touch that. And he'll just like run and like put it in his mouth. And you're like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's been interesting. This terrible too, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. It, it extends beyond that. Twos aren't that bad, you know, so as they get older, <laughs> they, when they can start talking back to you, that's when it gets crazy. <laughs> Yeah, but a lot of fun, right? Oh, so much fun. Yeah. It it makes it makes um makes being an artist uh really rewarding too cuz they get to they get to see their dad making art and their mom their mom is a, a designer as well, so. Oh. Kind of great it's, references it's, in the house. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's like they see that you can make you know, you can make a life as an artist. I think it's it's pretty cool mm. to see yeah yeah i think that for the kids be surrounded by profiles like yours an mm -hmm. illustrator a designer is 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 a good thing because in mm -hmm. my childhood i 
I didn't have these kind of references in my family or in my life because my yeah I don't know my 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 father worked in a bank and my mother worked in a in a shop and Mm -hmm. I don't know I I didn't know nothing about illustration and about yeah when I was a child I usually said something I want I would like to be a painter yeah (laughs) (laughs) yeah yeah no it's a similar story I mean I um I had a, a, a few family members who had done art and maybe in school or but nobody was um really a professional artist mm-hmm. full-time but neither of my parents were um as my dad was a salesman my mom was a nurse mm. and so i but yeah i wasn't really around it either i was always the you know the art kid so yeah. um yeah no it was great i mean once once i went away to school and moved i moved to san francisco and feel like the whole world kind of opened up because I was just surrounded myself with as many creative mm-hmm. people as I could possibly find. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, it's a great, it's, it's a lot of fun. I think because mm-hmm. uh, things aren't really weird anymore, you know, like everybody's just like, yeah, go do it, make it, you know, like yeah. be, be as weird as you want, like be creative, like, you know, take <laughs> a chance. So it's it's cool to pass that on to my kids. They're like, just, yeah, be be weird. <laughs> yeah it's okay it's okay as much as you can <laughs> yeah you yeah people are gonna tell you no for a long time just be yeah. young just go wild do whatever you want yeah take the opportunity to mm-hmm. do something that you want uh jen eric says um my oldest nephew is very artistic he's making music on his laptop and attending a digital media art school that's cool he's a proud oh. uncle that's pretty yeah. exciting i mean it's it's cool to see your your youngins and people around you uh, yeah just creating yeah. it's it's something really cool to connect to as well yeah yeah i think so because my my friends have a have a daughter and mm-hmm. called Ares, and that is always that comes from to my house always said something like maria i want to draw yeah yeah of course go with me <laughs> let's do uh, it what, let's, what let's, kind of let's... pencil what kind of uh, markers do you want <laughs> yeah and we can no, go great. together and she always said yeah draw me a star draw me a sun and i can i can color and yeah. the other day told me yeah maria could you could you draw me yeah yeah of course and I draw, uh, I draw her with a long hair, with a dress. And she told me, uh, yeah, but I, I can make it better, better. I can make it better with um, a star here in my hair, with yes. a line, with a stripes in yes. my dress. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Of course, oh, no, that's, of course. yes. That's <laughs> what my, my oldest son always tells me that. He's yeah? just like, Dad, you're really good, but I'm the best artist. And ah, it's like, of course. Yeah, it's like, yeah, okay, it. okay, you're done. Yeah, let me let me color this in. Let me make it better. It's like, <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> yeah. Um, people are enjoying the uh the tiny feet on the uh, is that a squash? What are we looking at with the beanie, the little cap? Um, yeah, the eggplant. Uh, eggplant. Okay, of course, yeah. eggplant. Those little baby feet. Yeah, yeah. Um I don't know if put some feet um, with all of vegetables. Mm, I don't know yeah. because this leak have this little right. Yeah, but I mean, it kind of adds the, that variety too. Yeah. Yeah, or maybe the radish. I can add some some little feet here. Like yay! <laughs> it is adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, for this one, I will. I'm going to draw uh, a corn, a little one. Um, maybe with glasses. This one. Uh, Tiffany had a question, um, and it was yeah. from what we were talking about earlier. Um, 
how did the uh, quarantine, you know, pandemic thing, how did it impact your illustration work and your workflow? Did it change anything? Mm. Did it make it better? Because maybe you had more time or did it kind of, was it stunting? I didn't know. Mm. Yeah, it's a good question. Because when the pandemic started, I, I had two projects. But one of them was cancelled because mm -hmm. I, I had to draw and design a diary to a travel agency. So no travel, <laughs> no diary. <laughs> like we don't need that anymore. Thank you. No, no. Yeah. So um, I felt frustrated for the lose that one. And um, yeah, um, while I work in my house, I some projects comes to me like design for social media, um, illustrations for um, coloring pages, mm -hmm. all this stuff for for children and for for people in the houses, mm -hmm. you know. But yeah, my daily routine didn't change a lot because I woke up, I started to work here in my house. Right. I don't I don't have employees or right. um, my daily routine was the same, but right, because you're the freelance hard. kind of life. Yeah. Yeah. Your your studios in your own home already. Yeah, it's so, always the yeah. same. Yeah. Yes. But yeah. But it, it was hard to lose some clients, lose some projects and fight mm -hmm. for another ones. Mm -hmm. mm, it was hard, but. Um, do you have do you have an agent or do you have somebody that is finding those jobs for you or do you do mm -hmm. that on your own? Do you represent yourself? No, not yet. But if anyone here is an Asian, <laughs> you can call me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I, I also don't have one, but it's something that I always think about, like, hmm, maybe I should. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, I know it's different for everybody. I know some people love it and some people it, it doesn't do enough for them. But just yeah, I, I think that is a, is a good idea. Um, I prepared a portfolio to send um, to agencies and, and other profiles, but it's hard because it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a lot of time. Send yeah. emails, personalize mm -hmm. emails, and research the person through mm -hmm. LinkedIn. Or it's a, it's it's a lot. lot of job. Yeah, yeah. search an agent yeah. is, is a good. But yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a thing that I have in mind. Mm -hmm. Find a good Asian, and mostly for for the United States and United Kingdom, I think. Yeah, right. It helps you kind of reach out a little bit more internationally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because in Spain, I have some clients, and uh, I can manage. Right. I think, but mm, it will be it will be nice to be part of the agency. <laughs> I like this little guy. <laughs> Hmm. Is, that, is that a little apple? Or what? No, it's an. <laughs> is that an, acorn? An acorn, yeah. Acorn, acorn. yeah, okay. An acorn. I wasn't sure if that was a hat or. Okay, it's a, yeah, it's a little oh. acorn. Very cute. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Um, what else? What else is in my list? Oh, where is my list? Ah, here. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe. Ah, mushrooms. Mm. Well, that's a good one. Mushrooms. Draw different shapes of mushrooms. Mm. Oh. Just wanted to remind everybody, if you are watching on YouTube, come on over to b.net slash Adobe Live. 
so we can chat with you and talk with you because if you guys are on youtube we don't see the chat we're not moderating over there so come over over to b.net slash adobe live that way you guys can ask questions and we can answer them so come on over we mm -hmm. got uh maria trikel i'm gonna say trikel. It probably. yeah okay <laughs> I'm, I'm probably good. not going to get it right. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's practice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're doing uh, we're doing some vegetable character designs, which I think is going to be integrated into a pattern at the end. Is mm -hmm. that the yeah. okay? Awesome. So yeah. yeah, come join us over here. We can this one. And we are just in the sketching exploration process, uh, just trying mm -hmm. to see. What kind of different vegetables we got here? Got some cute little mushrooms. I was going to ask you, what kind of mushroom are you going to make? Let's see, we've got. It's I don't cute know. Maybe I can do the feet like this. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a little dancing mushroom. Yeah. Um, maybe. Maybe we. Uh, Uma, Uma Corn Brewers is saying that. Uh, they're, they're drawing along with you. They're enjoying the mushrooms. Oh, thank so, you. That's always cool when people draw along while you while you stream. It's fun. Oh. Mm. Oh, yeah, we have this family. Or maybe we can do um, no this one. If I have to draw some legs here, <laughs> maybe hmm. I like it. It's a good way to draw the body part. Of the mushroom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I like this too. Not this one. Get, it, get that one out of there. Yeah, fuera. Mm -hmm. Mushrooms, mushrooms, black And how many do you know? Is there like a number for you of how many you want to pick, or you just kind of mm. feeling it out? Yeah, I don't know. I think I the pumpkin. Yeah, can't can't forget the pumpkin. Yeah, I think essential that... fall vegetable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very beautiful to draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Eight is a good number. The number two to explore the whole composition, final composition. Yeah, because we have we have different shapes here. Mm -hmm. The the large one, leek and this mushroom the round of the pumpkin and the pepper the little ones radish and acorn and the big one eggplant mm -hmm. yeah and maybe i can draw a little berries to complete right. the, the to fill these empty parts Mm. Mm, only with eyes, I think. Your little eyes. Yeah, like the like the spots in the hero movie. You know in which movie? Um El Viaje de Chihiro is in Spanish. 
Um, from Studio Ghibli, these ones. Oh, um, these black ones. Uh, you know? Spirited Away. Spirited Away. Ah, yeah, 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 yes. yeah, 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 yeah. The the soot, soot yeah. Uh, spirits. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe this very sweet. Only the eyes will be. F oh, oh, or a little mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can draw. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I think it's a good family. Hmm. So now, is this the uh, is this going to be the size um, that you'll be working on? Or are you going to start another? Uh, yeah, I, I start with another. You know, okay. size. It's just yeah. kind of your sketch pad size. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I usually work um, with another format at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then when I have to to do the, the final illustrations, I, I usually work with maybe a 20, a 20, yeah, in another document, 20 and 20 square okay. Okay. and yeah I, I will do the the characters in a different file right, right. Yeah. yeah 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 and in the end i i can put together in mm -hmm. a composition because it, it's more easy it, now it's like yeah it works um i i can see all the shapes together and if it's what for it's works for me um i can follow with the right. with the rest Mm, so okay let's draw now some leaves some different kind of leaves to to complete the whole composition because um these leaves um will not be a character it's only right. decoration to fill the right. empty spaces and we can try at the beginning different forms, point ones, rounded. Mm. It's good to to have different shapes in this in this right. kind of little details to right and you you need to kind of fill certain spaces or part of the design yeah. so you kind of need more options. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's very useful. Now, did you go to did you go to art school or did you go to just you know regular college and then after that mm -hmm. moved into design or did you study design at school? Yeah, after after high school, I go to the university to study mm -hmm. fine arts in Barcelona. Mm -hmm. So oh, fine arts like pain, sculpture, right. mm -hmm. um, bohemic stuff. <laughs> yeah, I did a lot of that stuff too. I was yeah. oil painting and yeah, yeah. You know, ceramics yeah. and water-based sculpture. And... Yeah, and yeah, it, it's so great. But um, this kind of university, if you don't have a focus, if it's complicated because um, you, can, you can learn everything, you can do everything and... Mm -hmm. At the end, the the illustration part and the design way, um, I was interested in that kind right. of design and graphic design. So I I choose the the design way in my university, and mm -hmm. um, I did this one. And after after university, I studied. I did a master of mm -hmm. communication design and advertising okay and it was great it was great yeah. because i i learned a lot and i studied with um professionals workers in agencies and it was great mm -hmm. yeah. yeah 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 i think it kind of going into a master's program kind of gives you a leg up kind of 
helps you transition. Um, yeah. And especially if you're doing uh, stuff like art direction and other things, it kind of, I feel like it helps people that are leaders on projects. Um, mm. I feel like you break down your process a lot more. Um, but yeah, it's very yeah, useful. Does, yeah, and especially with if you're doing communications um, and advertising and stuff like you, you really figure out why the artwork is working or not. There's not, yeah. it's not as subjective. I mean, it, it is obviously, but mm. there's a little, it's a lot more technical of just kind of, you know, what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because um, after that, I, I work, I work, yeah, for uh, five years in advertising agency. And okay. I learned a lot, a lot, mm -hmm. because I worked with copies, with animators, with uh, art directors. And it's amazing because um, you learn with, uh, for every detail. Um, mm -hmm. it's, very, it's very useful because yeah, at the end see now- All the different sides of it, right? Yeah, yeah, because now I'm a freelance professional. So I can do things like, yeah, like an account manager to search my own clients. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's important to, to do these things and to, to have this, this kind of contacts because a lot of my friends are, are friends from work. Mm -hmm. And if I have a doubt, if I have a trouble, I can call my account friends. Or right. if I have to do some some project um, with an animator, I I called uh, one of my old colleagues. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. You're, it's that same kind of networking mm -hmm. um, that you have e either from school or from work. Yeah, um, yeah. It's important. Yeah. That's very important. And you just need need to bounce ideas off of people, and it's hard when you're all by yourself you can kind of get lost or get stuck and it's nice to have an outlet or somebody to talk to yeah. to be like, is this working? <laughs> am, I, yeah. am I crazy? Is this like, you know, it's, it's good. So. Yeah. I always ask my, my design and my illustration illustrators, colleagues, like I have to do this project. I don't know how, how to can do this budget or this quotation, you know, mm -hmm. Um, how much do you think that I have to share? It's, right, right. That is the hard part of uh, freelance yeah. is you're kind of, you're representing yourself and money is a big part of it, whether you want it to be or not. And yeah. finding the balance of discussing the projects while also keeping in mind that there's a financial aspect to it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's stuff that's an art in its own to really learn how to manage that and be professional, but also be approachable. And you know, it's, yeah, it is tough. It's tough, but I think that it's important to to pay attention oh, yeah. of this field of our profession it's, because it, it's a business. We have oh, yeah, to completely. eat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, the thing is, is there's there's millions of incredible artists all over the world, yeah. and you know sometimes the deciding factor is how you handle yourself yeah and you know how well you communicate and you know how likable you are and it's i think that's tough for a lot of artists um but i think with your experience of being at an agency you kind of go through all of that and you you kind of learn mm. from others like oh that's that's how you handle that or that's how you do yeah. that or and so then you can bring that into your own own profession but it's a tough one because they don't really teach it at school. No, you know, no. I, I, and it, which is crazy. It's like, here's yeah, how yeah, to yeah, make because, it, but I don't, yeah. I'm not going to tell you how to succeed, but here's how you can make the art. And you're like, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm sure that if, if there are, a, if I, how can I say, if I had this kind of classes in my university, I, I was like, oh, boring, the financial class. Yeah, right. Class. You wouldn't <laughs> even pay attention anyway. So yeah, like, oh, I got a yeah. business class. I don't yeah. care. And now yeah. it's like, oh, I, 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 I need, need it. That. Yeah, I need it. It's yeah, like, I, it's like um, with English classes in my mm -hmm. childhood. Now mm -hmm. I'm like, I thought, I, why, don't, why didn't pay attention? 
more pay attention in my English classes in my high yeah. school. But now it's like, okay. It's, so yeah, tw- it's 20, 20, 20 hindsight. It's like, you can, you know, get mad at yourself yeah. back then, but you, you don't know when you're that young. Yeah. 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 It so it, it's normal when yeah, we are young, we think in another yeah. way. Yeah. The future isn't as important. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. I have some leaves. I love, I love the, the rounded ones. Mm. I don't know. It's okay. Mm. Okay, I think that I can, I'm going to to start to clean some lines here. Yeah, I will start with this little one. Mm. Our happy little eggplant. Yay. Yeah, so we can group this part of the layers. Red. And sketches, yes, sketches. You mm, can start. And then, are you using the? the same brush to make your final lines or do you switch? No, I use the same because at okay. the end, um, I don't usually um, put the lines in my illustrations. And right. my illustrations are in a plain color. Right, right, right. Yeah, you know? it's more the shape. It's not, it's not yeah. boxed in with yeah, the yeah. line. Yeah, so this is more of just like a final shape that you're blocking yeah. out. Gotcha. Yeah, it, it's like a second sketch, a more poem, mm-hmm. a more final. Right, right, right. In black. Because with this one, I can I can draw the final ones. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, is this just a project that you kind of came up with for the stream or is this any type of work? Is this just personal work? Yeah, personal awesome. work because only why not? Only for fun. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that's the best that's the best part is get get paid to do some personal work and have yeah. some fun and Yeah, because now I'm I'm working on different projects, but one of them is like is a little bit private, mm-hmm. um, confidential. Yeah, like you can't show it. Yeah. Right. Those are always yeah. tough. I I've also run into that as well with um, the NDA, the non disclosure mm-hmm. agreements that you have to sign and. It can be tough because you're like, I'm working so hard on something that you won't see for a long time. (laughs) (laughs) Stay tuning. Yeah. But how many, I guess this is kind of an interesting question. How many uh, projects do you usually juggle or like what, like, is there, do you find yourself kind of telling clients like, oh, I can do that, but I can't start, you know, months from now, or how do you, how do you kind of, if you have multiple projects, how do you kind of juggle that? Um, right now, for example, I have a lot of projects. I'm, I'm doing uh, illustrations for a video mm-hmm. for a healthcare brand. With, mm-hmm. with an animator 
And I'm doing um, this confidential project. I'm doing a, right. a characters for a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. um, no, what else? I'm I'm doing a like a design graphic design stuff like um, um, without importance in a in an illustration field, right. but. Yeah, after um, after this summer, I, I had a very low summer in terms mm -hmm. of work. Mm -hmm. So now I don't know why all the clients appear magically. Yeah, yeah. So, what is the the feast or famine where it's like either you've got a ton of work or yeah, like nothing's yeah. happening? Yeah. And now I'm like, yeah, I have to say yes because right. Um, right got to make up for the time we didn't yeah. have any clients <laughs> yeah 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 so i have a lot of work right now and i'm i have to prepare some illustrations to to go a festival because i mm -hmm. i have to go a festival a very important festival in barcelona this christmas mm -hmm. and i will be there um doing live portraits Oh, awesome. And selling my products, but I have to do products. I have to produce it. Yeah, gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. And it's I, a lot of work. I have, yeah, I have to yeah. do new illustrations and search the materials, the tote mm -hmm. bags, or the. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of work. Yeah. And, uh, so. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a very my, happy my, end of the year for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, my wife, uh, uh, she's a jewelry designer. And so she just she's just oh. coming back from San Francisco because she does a, a lot of the fairs. And so it's it's a lot of that preparation work, you know, making uh -huh. sure you have all the display materials and you get your booth set up. You, got, you know, yeah. there's all this work ahead of time. And then when you get there, you're just like, I hope it goes well. <laughs> you know, yeah. Like, you know, you put all this effort in time and then for, you know, for two days and then got to do it all over again, especially the holiday season. Yeah, you know, I think yeah, she's got course. two or three more fairs after this. Um, but yeah, it's it's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He needs sometimes it's a lot to manage, but mm -hmm. in a freelance life, I think that is important to. To to learn to say no when you can't completely and it's hard that's i it's mean it's hard. hard i've there's been projects that i i you know there's part of me where i'll be like oh well you know i i can do that but i'm doing this 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 and this and then you know the client's yeah. like all right bye and i was like ah, what yeah. if i just said yes to it but then you remind yourself you're like but i would be resentful i mm -hmm. would be miserable and then yeah. how much how much money would make that worth it in the end <laughs> or you know yeah and so it is it is important to to say no um because it, it's but it's hard to kind of figure out when you should sometimes yeah it, it's difficult it's, it's a difficult balance mm -hmm. but when i started my freelance adventure <laughs> mm -hmm. i, I it's had definitely to... an adventure <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah adventure time <laughs> yeah um i had clear one thing that i i prefer to be um, to be less rich but i have my time i have my my quality of life mm -hmm. because be my my own be my boss is right. the best because yes maybe mm -hmm. the next week i would like to go um, or take vacations so mm -hmm. if i have an, any projects so i can do it yeah yeah it's are your cats okay with that <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 my like, cats don't are... leave us don't please yeah i, I used to have two or, cats. or give me give me some food and can you leave <laughs> yeah i was gonna say i had, I had when i lived in uh, oakland i had two cats and it was just they're opposites of each other one was outside all the time the other one wouldn't leave the house mm. but um yeah it's like you would leave and they'd be like all right cool. you, i got food i got somewhere to sleep okay i'm fine you're good i'm fine i'll yeah, see yeah you. i'll see you in a couple of weeks <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
dog, you're uh, like, the dog's just like, please help me. <laughs> please. Like, Don't leave me. He leave me this way. No, my, I have three cats, but my cats are very, very lovely. Just, yeah. they, Do they, they get along the really well? Sorry? Do they get along together really well? Like, do they like each other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never know. Yeah. yeah. They are they are so friends. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, our, our males, the three of them, um, are always playing and do silly stuff and follow each other and yeah. sleep together. Oh, that's it's, cute. They're cute. Yeah, um, I, no, I, I love cats. Yeah. I love dogs too. I just, cats are... Cats are so different, uh, especially as uh, as pets in your house. They're just yeah, definitely are... they're, they're their own little beings that you know you can kind of yeah. you can hang out and pay attention to them or not, and they kind of just are going to still do what they're going to do. <laughs> yeah, because I love cats because um, they are like like human. Yeah, because, they're very independent. Yeah, independent. If if you ask some love. So if I want, like a person. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Give me a don't hug. Touch no, me. You, yeah, <laughs> yeah. don't touch me. I don't mean a you good mood yeah. or something. There's there's something like about getting the affection that feels more rewarding because you're like, oh, he loves me today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give me love. But yeah. yeah, cats. I love cats, yes. I think as an artist as well, it's um little bit easier to manage because you can be in the studio it can be drawing and they just they can just hang out with you so there's some dogs like that too i got um mm. uh i feel like bulldogs are really good mm-hmm. good breed good studio dogs chihuahuas you know some smaller breeds but yeah cats cats are usually pretty easy yeah 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 and, and they give me a lot of company yeah Mm-hmm. I have I have two of them here in my side. Yeah. Sleeping, They're watching. So. They're hanging out. Yeah. Yay! I'm sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love I love all the animals actually. Yeah. They're pretty cool. Yeah. If I. I always say the same. If I won the lottery, I, I will, I will make, or I will build a sanctuary yeah. uh, with a lot of animals and live there in yeah. a easy way. Yeah, I feel like feel like my brother uh, in Alaska because he lives in Homer, Alaska, which is mm-hmm. um, it's a pretty small city there, and it's kind of on like a isthmus, so it's like a kind of stretches out and. Um, but just the amount of wildlife that's there is pretty, pretty crazy. I mean, just in one day, you could have a moose, you know, a brown bear and Ooh. a lynx. They've got stoats, which are the like weasels. Oh, yeah. They're really cool. Yeah, really cute. Oh. <laughs> but just all, all kinds of, cre- you know, beautiful birds and eagles. And, yeah, but, so beautiful. Yeah it's, yeah, it's pretty wild. They've, he's always has his... Uh, Moose and her her calves always walk through his yard. They always send us pictures. Um, They're huge. Yeah. Yeah. You, you don't have any animal, wild animal in San Francisco, Los Angeles, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I see. It's like. I mean, I'm in LA. It's like our our backyard's like its own little like uh, yeah. little wild animal park. We've got, but ours is you know we've got the possums, squirrels, raccoons, uh, uh, alligator lizards. Uh, <laughs> we've got some we've got some hawks because I'm right at the foothills of the San Gabriel mm-hmm. Mountains, so we get mountain lions that come down and uh, uh, black bears and stuff. So mm. we get it's a it's pretty popping over here. <laughs> but definitely definitely you got to be careful with outside cats here because of the coyotes yeah, ah, coyotes. Um, oh, yeah. yeah there's we have a lot of coyotes um, uh, and also because we had fires recently so a lot of them would come down off the mountain for to look for food because a lot uh-huh. of the forest was was burnt oh but 
yeah, it's it's fun. A lot of good hiking around here, which um, I feel like a lot of people don't think of LA as this like amazing hiking place, but there's it's really mm. a lot of really beautiful uh, nature around here. Mm. Oh, it's nice. I want to travel a... anywhere, <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> doesn't matter. Oh. I want to... <laughs> doesn't matter. With the coyotes. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm hopefully I, I would love to come out to Spain. My uh, my friend's dad has a he just bought a house in, in Madrid, oh. um, but he loves it there. But you have but it's, you have have you ever been here? In no, I've never been. No, I've mm -hmm. I've only been to France um, in the UK. Um, so sadly, mm. no, would love would love to, to go to Spain, though. I've heard many good things. Yeah. Oh, the, the weather, the food. It's heard it's beautiful. Yeah, everything yeah. about it is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I believe it. Yeah, I know. It's a great location. I mean, just geographically, it's kind of yeah. like the different different kind of weather you get, but also just having those coastlines. Uh, it's just... yeah, because we have a little bit. Um, a of little bit of right? mountain, of the sea, mm -hmm. of the cities, of right. a lot of things. If you want to ski, you have to go to the Pyrenees. If you go to, if you want to some beautiful be beach, you have to go to Mallorca, Menorca. Right. Of, uh, yes, my yeah. only experience of uh, Mallorca is um, I have an exercise bike, and <laughs> they do. One what? of the like, the, there's like a series. So I have like a video screen on my yeah. exercise bike, and so they do a whole thing through uh, Mallorca, and so oh. you kind of just right. So it's like you know, I get I get to pretend <laughs> that I'm on my that. bike there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> have my fan blowing on my face, be like, yeah, yeah, that's, I'm I'm there. Yeah, it's it helped it helped during uh, quarantine. That's for sure. I was like, yeah, I'm somewhere else. <laughs> Uh, it's, it was hard for everyone. Yeah. I just wanted to remind everybody again, if you guys are watching on YouTube, come on over to behancebnet slash Adobe Live so we can see your questions and we can answer them. If you guys have any questions for Maria, please come on over b.net slash Adobe Live. You guys can chat with us there. Mm. And let's see, we are kind of doing a refined sketch right now on our mm -hmm. little vegetable, little vegetable people. Um, mm. Yeah, it's looking great so far. Very cute. Everybody looks yeah. very happy. Yeah. Excited for autumn. Yeah. And uh... so once you're done with these kind of refining the lines, are we going to start moving into color schemes or... What's kind of the plan after this? Um, after this, I usually do um, a color sketch to test the colors mm -hmm. just before to do the final illustrations. Right. So right. after after that, we can we can search uh, autumn palette for apply, and we can yeah. We can test cool. some colors. Perfect. Yeah, just so you know, it's, uh, let's see, we've got about 45 minutes left, maybe a little less 40 minutes, just so you know, for today, mm -mm. just a heads up. Yeah, yeah, we have time. Yeah. And the nice thing is, is that you can kind of, you know, if you don't get to everything you wanted to today, you've always got the time in between streams to do yeah. a few things as well. Which is nice. Yeah, I'm not worried because um, if if we don't have time, maybe 
I don't, I don't have to finish one of the vegetables, and we can yeah. do the the whole final composition with um, maybe not eight, maybe with six. Right, and I mean, I've with my experience too is that it you don't have to finish in the two days if you want to finish up afterwards and post it afterwards and just tag us and you know tag by be hands and that's hmm. totally fine it's what i do usually because i'm doing <laughs> usually doing really detailed illustrations it's like i can't get this done in four hours um yeah so yeah don't feel don't feel too much pressure to like have everything finished like you said um you're totally welcome to uh do more okay. after the stream as well i will try because i want yeah. to do it <laughs> i know go let's do it yeah for my honor. Okay, the red. And you said this is your first time streaming, right? Doing a live stream? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, because... Welcome to the world of live streamers. Yeah. yeah. Um, yes, it's All my first time. All of your mistakes time. captured <laughs> live. <laughs> yeah, but permanently please. on the internet for everyone to see. <laughs> these days, yeah. these days I thought about it. And I thought something like, um, if I make a mistake, maybe... I will become a meme. <laughs> oh, a, me a meme? A meme. Yeah, meme, a meme in Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, oh my God, you, you, you don't have to think like this. That right could now. help your business. You could, that would be great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Good, you know, bad publicity is good publicity. Yeah, one, one, <laughs> one friend, Jaime, told me, ah, mm, yes, because maybe it's a good thing for you to become yeah. a meme. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I just, time. I've been trying to, it's, it's hard because it's hard to find time, you know, like you said, it's, it gets so busy, but um, yeah, I've done it a few times on here and then I, I did it for Lightbox. Um, but the cool mm -hmm. thing is now is that uh, Behance is actually hosting live streamers now, which is really cool. And yeah. I had never done it before and I downloaded the open broadcaster uh, software that it's, it's free and you get to use it and it's, you can customize your own stream. So it's pretty cool. I I'm trying to get into it more. <laughs> I'm trying to like find mm -hmm. the time to do it, but it's, it's cool. How many resources are now on the internet uh, for artists just to get inspired and to learn yeah. uh, Adobe live is just so cool. Cause it's free for everybody. So it's, yeah, it's not the, many other places I've, you get to this many artists and the, just yeah. this, touch on this many subjects. Actually, I, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know nothing about this kind of live stream mm -hmm. before the the Adobe mail that contacted me for all for doing this, mm -hmm. you know. And it was like hmm, interesting. Why it's I didn't cool. know? <laughs> yeah, and they keep a great archive, so it's it's actually like I've come through it a bunch of times and I'm like, wow, there's some seriously good stuff yeah. on here that, um, yeah. It's, and I just, a lot of the stuff they do with the daily challenges with like Photoshop okay. and Illustrator, um, you know, After Effects, all the different, obviously, uh, apps that Adobe has, like it, it really, if you dedicate yourself, I mean, this, it's just a great resource to have um especially as you're learning uh, a new yeah. a new app because i mean i'm sure you felt it i'm sure everybody does when you start to jump into these programs yeah. it's like i mean i still feel like i'm an infant in photoshop and i've been working yeah. on it for probably 15 years i'm like i don't know probably 90 percent of the things that you can do yeah here. yeah but it's, yeah i feel the yeah, same it's, but it's cool when you kind of see people's processes you can kind of pick things up as you go you're like oh, okay that's how you do that or yeah. that's the shortcut or yeah so. yeah, yeah i learned a lot with with the videos um in some things like something like, like that oh um, what what uh what is that that 
I don't know, the button for do this or yeah. what is the process? And this is very interesting. Yeah, learn from, from others. It's the best yeah, way, I, always, I think. I always um, talk about uh, Domestica as well. Um, it was a mm. great, I don't know if you've heard of that. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, okay. that's, yeah, they've got a grace. Yeah, is, is it based in Spain or is yeah. it? It is okay. I couldn't yeah, remember. Yeah, I think so. I think so because I have a lot of friends work uh, working there. And yeah. yeah. Um, oh, I they have do a great a... job of curation, and the yeah. way that they do the videos is pretty awesome. Like, uh, yeah, I agree absolutely. And yeah, the that... fact that they do that, they're doing even English uh, subtitles and audio yeah. and. Because for even for that, beyond that, like, even if they didn't, like, still some of the stuff is pretty incredible. But it's good for people like me who, you know, can only speak one language. <laughs> I have some kind of options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's so good, Domestica. I, I have, um, I did some, some courses, some yeah. courses there. Um, and I have uh, different ones that I never have time to do yeah but, oh yeah oh I've, I've definitely bought somewhere i'm like i'll get around to that yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but i have a lot like oh, i have one of ceramics and mm. i don't know how to say the the textile stuff to yeah textile, bordado, um, bordado in english i don't know how i can say it um is it like knitting like like yeah needle knitting okay yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. this yeah. kind of stuff so mm -hmm. yeah when i when i win the lottery i will do the, <laughs> the domestic course <laughs> a lot okay, of yeah, things uh, I, the I english says so says so borrado right borrado borrado that's the word borrado. right so it's yeah. yeah so the english word for that is uh embroidery ah, okay yeah just kind of a tough one but yeah okay i see yeah oh yeah because especially that's great for illustrators as well because mm. you get this really you could get pretty detailed images yeah 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 i don't know what but i'm always i always search new things or new things to learn you know yeah, yeah I, I want yeah. to learn um this program want to be good at this. everything yeah <laughs> yeah or, or languages Mm -hmm. I, like in Matrix, it will be perfect if I if I have a program or diskette to put in my mind. Yeah, I know Japanese right now. I know yeah. to it's pilot the a helicopter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. just gotta download it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It will be nice. Is this pumpkin? Is this our last little guy? Mm, I think so. Pumpkin. Yeah. Oh, do we are we gonna do the? Uh, is the leak still gonna be in it? Ah, the ah, and the radish. Ooh, Can't a lot of about those guys. Yeah, the radish is very cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, I will do it. He's probably he might be my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cute, he or she yeah. or they? I'm not sure. The radish. The radish. We can do. Yeah, pumpkin check. Um, so let's do these two little ones. Perfect. Radish. And these little guys have accessories. Did the other ones? Are you, are you gonna? Are, is each one gonna have an accessory, or is it kind of the mm. design? let the design kind of decide as you throw them on the pattern mm, no the accessories with the radish and this one the scarf mm, and the other ones i don't remember ah the hat for the eggplant yes the glasses, glasses? here okay <laughs> yeah the mushrooms are naked <laughs> yeah <laughs> they're wild mushrooms they are free kind of <laughs> yeah Son nudistas, you know? Um, no, nu uh, yeah, nu nu nudist? nudist? Nudist. Yeah. <laughs> same same <laughs> word, nudist. basically. Yeah, nudist <laughs> mushrooms in the yeah. garden. 
Um, and everybody, if you're just joining us, um, we are with Maria Triquel, and hey. she is from Spain. I forgot what city, if you could remind Figueres. us. Maria. Figueres. 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 Awesome. It's a kind of um, tree. Oh, okay. Is that what it is? It, <laughs> is it named after the city or is the city named after the tree? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I have to check it. <laughs> Um, it, it, yeah. isn't my, isn't my, my native town, you know, God, when yeah, 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 totally. Um, but yeah, we're just, looks like we're just kind of finishing up the refining sketches of our, uh, little vegetable, autumn vegetable guys and little characters. Yeah. So, and then these are going to go onto a pattern, which I'm assuming we'll probably kind of move on to that on day two. Yeah. Um, yeah. So hopefully get to some colors, I think, before the stream's over today. And also, if yeah. you're on YouTube, hop on over to uh, b.net slash Adobe Live. And we can talk to you guys there. You guys can ask your questions in the chat. Please feel free. I will be looking at it. Actually, I should yeah. probably check it right now. We got Wade uh, moderating for us here. He's been doing a great job. Uh, Uma Corn Burrows Brewers. Brewers. Sorry if I said it wrong. Uh, so she can't wait to see it colored. Mm. I'm also there too. It's that's the toughest part is sometimes you yeah. want to skip steps in the process. <laughs> You're like, <gasps> yeah, I spent a lot but, of time searching the perfect color, the perfect. Yes. Color. Yeah. Yes. Um, and, uh, J uh, Jan Eric, uh, he says that, uh, veggies are good for you, but these are too cute to eat. <laughs> Sorry. I He's saying ve veggies are good. They're good for you. But he said these ones are too cute to eat. Yeah. So, no. Agreed. Yeah, it'd be Don't kind of a sad. Don't eat me, please. Yeah, I guess that would be that would probably be a funny animation. But yeah, maybe we don't want to see, mm. see these little guys getting eaten. Uh, I know. In the next yeah. live stream. <laughs> yeah, uh, we will animate these vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> the vegetables dead. They're actually part of an autumn feast that will be featured oh. next. <laughs> uh let's see okay oh wade uh let's see there's a question from tiffany uh it says mm -hmm. maria any advice on creating uh our own unique style or illustration i can't seem to follow my own rules for my illustrations so i guess kind of how did you develop your style or wh what was that process like and are you still developing it? Does it feel like you're constantly doing new things or was there a point when you're like this, what you kind of settled into is, is how, how you like to paint? Oh, um, the style question. This I know. The big one. We're here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's do this. Let's run this. But I think that uh, in, for, for me, for example, I am, I I changed my style during my my years because mm -hmm. um, maybe I discover a new tool. Um, maybe I can work with another brushes, another colors. It depends of the of the mood or the the um, the stage in my life. Maybe right. now I I want to draw cute vegetables because i'm happy i don't know but i don't know in a few years what kind of of, of characters i will draw right. maybe i can change um the eyes for another one that fits more in my in my mood mm -hmm. i think that the style is a is a is a growing thing completely yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's always evolving. I mean, it's. Yeah. 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 Um, and if you have to, if you want to, to find your style, you have to draw, 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 draw a lot, a lot exactly. and experiment 
uh, and experimenting with colors, with shapes, with faces, with a lot of things. You have mm -hmm. to you have to prove it. You have to yeah to experiment. And yep. if if something fits in your style and is you in your mood, go ahead with that. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. the best advice that I can I can do because because I can give because it's what I do always. Yeah, it's yeah. I mean, it, for me personally, it's like like you said, it's something that's constantly changing. Yeah, and it's also it's your own exploration of the tools, and you kind of start to realize what you like and what you don't yeah. like, and I think. A lot of, you know, especially oh. as, oh, hello. Yeah, one of them. <laughs> um, as um, you're, especially as you're learning and you're building your skills and your techniques, you know, I would say for most people, it's like you are usually referencing other, you know, at, when you go to like traditional art school, it's like you're, you're doing master copies, right? You're referencing people that yeah. are, you already know it works and you try to reverse engineer it and like, why does it work? Mm -hmm. And I think as you build your own style, you're kind of, you're doing that. You're taking all these different things and putting them together and making them your own, yeah. but that can't happen right away. Cause there might be something that you haven't seen yet or experienced. Yeah. And so I think the best artists are ones that adapt to mm. so not only with their own style, but kind of as the, the world changes and, and technology changes. And, you know, yeah. there's, it's there's totally a lot good. of artists too, that, They've, you know, started, you know, in oils or pencil, brush, and then, you know, now they're able to do 3D modeling and other, you know, it's yeah. like, I think staying open to changing and to kind of keep your craft fresh is really important, especially for illustrators. Yeah. Like more than anybody. I think for fine artists, it's a little bit different, you know, showing in galleries and stuff. I think style hmm. is a lot more important. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think for illustrators, it's you're you're kind of you are building up a library of like aesthetics um, that people hire you for. But mm. it, you do, I feel like you do have a little more room to kind of explore different styles, yeah. especially. I mean, with with you saying that you had worked in advertising, and um, you, I think with that especially, it's like you, you kind of have to <laughs> know how to do. Yeah. It some variety yeah. and the same thing with the entertainment industry and animation it's like you can't just do one type of character or one type of style it's like you have to be flexible and kind of know how to do a lot of different things so yeah 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 I totally agree because the the style is a it's a life thing it, it's, completely yeah. it's it's reflecting of kind of yeah like why are you making art and what you're yeah. making it for and it almost informs itself when it happens. But I, I remember having those same questions a lot, especially in art school. It's like, what's going to be my style? Like, how are people going to yeah. notice my art? Like, what's going to make me stand out? And yeah, like a special question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I still don't, don't know. know. Still working on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I'm on process. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I don't, I, I don't think it ever ends. That's kind of the beauty of art, too, is you got it. It's something that you can do until you're old. And it's, I, I think that's what I love about it. It's a never ending. Uh, yeah. Never ending story. <laughs> yeah. No, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good thing, uh, the style, because I, I remember that I thought sometimes, okay, Maria, I, I, I haven't a style. I haven't. Mm, I have an, a, a palette of colors that always applies in my illustrations. And I remember that it was a bad thing mm -hmm. in some, in some points of my career. But now it's like, today I want to draw this and tomorrow I don't know. And I don't care. Right. You know, it's yeah. like, like, I don't care. You will see. Yeah, I think you, as you get older too, it's like you develop, you get a little more comfortable in who you are as a person, who you are as an artist. And yeah. it doesn't, it doesn't feel as existential 
when you <laughs> do those yeah make those different moves and make those different decisions because you kind of understand why you're doing it now instead of yeah. this constant searching you're just like oh it's more it's more exploring yeah. these days you know it's less like i'm searching for myself and it's more just like exploring yeah. the different facets of you know my art and my creativity and other people's art yeah totally yeah that's really cool so we got about uh, got about 15 minutes and then 15. and we'll start wrapping it up so and, and that you know a kind of wrap things okay. up with the guests and, and the the recap and then you you know be able to drop for a little bit longer and then okay so, so we have 15 minutes so let's go with the color yeah let's do it let's maybe it. we can okay I'm going to change some sizes to give um, to see all the characters. Here, here. The pumpkin. Yeah, have you? <laughs> um, Fairy Otomo says uh, you can do creepy veggies for the next one. Do you ever do kind of uh, darker stuff, maybe on your own time, or do you mm. usually try to stay on the lighter side of things? Yeah, look. Oh, this uh, is creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's maybe, on. maybe like that. There you go. Yeah. <sighs> Perfect. Yeah, that's a Halloween right. league. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it's it's easy to change with a right. little line. The expression is it's so funny. Yeah, but um, I love Halloween um, theme. I love Halloween days because here in Spain, we don't have it Halloween. Mm -hmm. We we only have yes this American party. We right. we have here la castañada. La castañada is like um, a party um, with castañas. It's like mm, castaña. ¿Cómo es? A little like a little acorns. Is it is it food? Tree. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. food from the tree. Okay. Castaña and. Um, with, I don't know the word for castaña. Oh yeah, okay, I'm looking it up. It's just, uh, it's like a chestnut, oh, maybe. Chestnut. Um, there you go. Yes, yes. Yeah. I think it's yeah. like a roasted chestnut. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we have this kind of party, and gotcha. yeah, sometimes I, I want to draw um, something more something darkest something more dark but mm -hmm. i always end um, drawing cute monsters <laughs> <laughs> right, right right you know <laughs> like yeah, yeah I, I want to be bad but i i don't i yeah. i can't i can't <laughs> yeah i have the opposite problem i yeah, uh, <laughs> i try to do things cute and they always kind of end up a little creepy at the end <laughs> i'm just like whoops i tried i tried it again yeah yeah. Okay, so we can and the color, the color, the color. This group. So for this ones, uh, I put the name to to the layers as you can gotcha. see. Yeah, that looks um, kind of make it easier. Final, final black. Okay. So, so for the colors, uh, let's see. Um, let's let's select. Um, 
I always, when I have to choose my color palette, mm -hmm. I, I, like to, I like to work with a small palette of colors. Mm -hmm. So, because at the end, it feels, I feel more comfortable with, um, with a few colors only. Yeah. So, yeah. I think it's kind of more that, uh, harmonious. Yeah. Worked. It's a little bit easier for them to work together. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. So let's try. I always I always paint here in my in my background directly. I mm -hmm. we can start with some um, yellow. Orange, of course, the the color of the autumn. Right, um, right. You have the season to kind of help you with these yeah. colors this time, for sure. Maybe a brown. Brown. And I need a green, but I want that green. I want a warm green. Maybe, hmm. yeah, maybe this one hmm. or no, for a start, this is okay. And um, I need a red, of course, mm, a red, mm, dark, yeah. Darker and um, maybe a purple for the eggplant. That'd be nice. Yeah. So you're going to be getting color specific with these, with the different vegetables, I'm assuming. It's like, yeah, kind of for the most part. We've got the radish color, we've got the pumpkin. Yeah, because the for the league, I, I will use. The green and the, and the beige, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Or a soft version of yellow, uh, orange for the pumpkin, red for the pepper, purple for the eggplant and berries, and mushrooms maybe will be will be red, and the acorn, yes, uh, brown. And yeah, I usually when I when I have these uh, these tones, I try to search the dark and the lighter version of this tone to to do the light parts and the and the darkest parts. Oops. I don't know. It's Hi. 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 Is, is everything okay? <laughs> yeah, I think I just, I don't know if that was on my end. Did I just cut out? Uh, okay, yeah, sorry about okay. that, guys. I think my, yeah, my internet must have just okay for a second. Okay, so as, as, as I could say, um, now I, I have to choose the dark and the lighter tone of these mm -hmm. colors that I have here. So let's try, let's try without the, without the sketches. And I'm going to test um, these versions. I need, I need, oh, it works. And for the red, maybe, maybe. These are going to be kind of the highlight and shadow of your yeah. different, gotcha. Yeah, because for this one, for this red, I need a darker, I need a shadow 
one, maybe. Mm -hmm. hmm. I usually work like this, like uh, an analogic palette, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> completely. Mm -hmm. I like to, yeah, to to mix the colors and compare in a in a fast way. Yeah, no, it's kind of it's it's nice to see it all at once. Mm. Kind of helps you know what's working and what's not. Yeah. And we're gonna be start wrapping up in uh, five minutes. So. Okay. So I mean, just keep going, but yeah, I'll just, you know, yeah. Okay. Just like it. So I can dark. <laughs> um, Steve Festus, uh, Casa Boom says, uh, you can use the cute veggies to lure the awful looking ones into the kitchen to eat. <laughs> oh, why? why? Why do people want to eat the, the cute veggies? We're coming. We're coming off of Halloween. People are still riding the yeah. wave. Yeah. Yeah, I thought to something related to they Halloween. They are food. But... I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> we're getting closer to lunchtime here on the Pacific yeah. Coast, so maybe that's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand. Um, yeah, they're so cute. Yeah, maybe a bite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe one of them could be missing a little something. Huh. <laughs> Tomorrow we will see. <laughs> yeah, a close call. Yeah. Okay, and for this one, the brown. Yeah. Maybe one more darker here. I love color. Okay. Yeah, I think it's nice, right? Yeah, no, this looks great. So can already, I can already kind of see where this is going. This is, is going to be nice. Yes. Yeah, so Warm, but vibrant. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. So this is, will be my palette for tomorrow. And so are you just um, going to use this to kind of eye drop off of as you paint? Do you kind of keep that up as you're painting or... Like, do you keep the colors on the screen while um, you paint, or do you usually? Maybe, maybe I will do a, a shades here. Uh huh. Because if I have the the palette always in my in my screen, yeah. maybe uh, it's not useful. But I will do. Yeah, I will do tomorrow this one. And now we have five minutes more. Yeah, I mean, it's, let's see. So I'm almost, uh, let's see. Yeah, we got about another five minutes and then okay. we'll be wrapping up. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I we was can, calling it a little early. <laughs> got about yeah, five minutes. we can try and try to put the color in a fast way to. Yeah, no, awesome. To see how, how it That's works. Work, yeah. Um, yeah, the berries in purple. The red, I think that the red is a little bit darker, but we will see at the end. Um, we can put some color here in mushrooms, the reddish, the orange for the cabbage. Um, this part maybe in orange. Um. 
do you use a lot of um, texture brushes as you start to kind of move into the next phase? Do you um, kind of have your set brushes that you use or? Yeah, yeah, tomorrow we will see because I right. I like to add some texture and some mm -hmm. like rough um, touches at the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Maybe this one in yellow. I need a, I need a beige here. Okay. I need a beige for maybe the legs and the details. Maybe the the leaking beige. Yeah. yeah that's nice. Mm -hmm. It's a quick sketch. Um, yeah. of color sketch oh, that only only to see how the color work mm -hmm. and how I can do maybe for example here I see that the red color is too dark mm -hmm. I think so so I can change I can change the dark maybe a little, a little lighter. I don't know. Let's check. Hmm. I think it's better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I like this one. So. Mm -mm. Yeah. So what Chief, is your, so yeah, what's our, what's our plan for day two? What's the. So tomorrow I'm going, I'm going to do the, these vegetables um, in, with a final illustration. Um, we can start with the, with the favorites, maybe the radish, the leek, the eggplant, um, the characters that, that surely I want to draw. Right. So, right. Um, and if I have time, I can draw the rest. But mm -hmm. yes, tomorrow we will start with the final illustrations, okay. and I will show the my my texture process, my brushes, mm -hmm. and the other details. And at the end, we can mix the all the elements, and we can do the final pattern. And if you have time. We can apply to a mock-up. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is great. And today was more just the exploration, kind of yeah. decide you had already made a nice list for us, which was great. So yeah. we kind of already knew what we were going to be drawing today. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that we were able to get to the colors mm -hmm. before we left today. It's always fun yeah. to finally start <laughs> to see it to come together. Um, but yeah, no, it's, that's awesome. This has been great so far. Um, super excited to see how this turns out. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm big texture brush guy, so I'm excited to cool. see the texture details that you add to this. Um, and it's fun as a pattern because then you know you can apply it to a lot of different things. Yeah, um, yeah graphically, it's, a, it's really nice. Yeah, it's a useful way to to apply. Right, right. It has many yeah. uses. Exactly. Hmm. Um, so right on. Well, cool. That's great. I mean, this has been a great stream so far. Um, yeah, we're with uh, Maria Triquel uh, coming mm -hmm. in from Spain, and we were able to do some vegetable characters today, which was super fun. And tomorrow we'll be doing more and putting it into a pattern. So we're super excited to see that. Um, also, uh, we'll be back tomorrow at uh, 9.30 a.m. Pacific time for part two. So if you guys can come join us, please do. And remember, join us on Behance. Um, and stick around for the Illustrator Daily Creative Challenge with Andrew Hokadro, 
Hockradl, sorry, I'll put seeing your last name right, I apologize. Hockradl, uh, immediately followed by video editing with uh, Fabiola Lara. So thanks again, guys. It's been awesome. Maria, you've been wonderful. Thank you. Um, really excited to keep doing this tomorrow. Yeah, so. see you tomorrow. All right, bye everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye.